I just want to say one more thing. What does it mean to be ready on day one to be president? Well, that means you're ready for World War III. What does it mean to be ready for World War III? Well, you understand telecommunications. What? That's not World War III. World War III is, is bombs and stuff. No. The history of warfare is the history of communications. So when you think about civil war and these guys with their telegrams and these people blowing up telegram wires to cut off communications between this group of people and this group of people, and then you think about World War II where they... You know, and, and even the Vietnam War, they got their big old phone, and there's the guy who's in, oh, oh we, we, I got calling in the coordinates. Well, what is World War Three? It's understanding satellites. It's understanding servers. It's understanding protocols. It's understanding microwave frequencies and stuff like, like which, it, well, for satellites. But it's understanding, free, like, it, it's understanding electromagnetic waves it's almost understanding the binary it's almost understanding that mark zuckerberg mark zuckerberg's hacking team at facebook is the number one illegal criminal hacking team in the world by far by far are they criminal like trying to steal money no spy spy type stuff this guy has has pushed it way overboard and I didn't realize it. But now but I've I've learned some things recently and now I'm like, really? Is that why everyone hates Facebook? But so why isn't Mark Zuckerberg on your list of people that you want as an advisor? Dude, you know who I want as an advisor? Everyone. Everyone I meet. And do you really think I can get Sundar Bashai to be my advisor? Maybe I can get his phone number. But he might be able to say that guy knows his stuff, but there are people that know that know their stuff in the government right now. But all I'm saying is, um, when you are in charge of World War Three, it's not understanding flank maneuvers. It's not. Um, it, 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 it's it's understanding electromagnetic waves a lot of the time, and it's understanding how networking works and it's understanding computer viruses and understanding what an enemy can do to you with a computer virus. And so I'm just saying like the, the this whole notion that having I have a lot of experience in the government, I'm ready for World War Three. That's crazy. Are you freaking nuts? Do you have any idea what World War Three is? It is a science project. Yes, you have to understand like infantry and you have to understand air support and you have to understand your country's naval capabilities and you have to know that stuff, which I know that the American government uses a spe special pro programming language specifically for coding for their, like I can't remember what the programming language is called, but it's not C. Um, I, I do realize that, but that's not what, all I'm saying is, like what makes you ready for World War Three is being able to talk to the people that actually like you you don't understand how much we say when I'm talking gibberish. And you don't understand what it's like to be the guy that goes, Okay, you are hacked. I still don't know if they've hacked your router, but I do know that they hacked you, and so you logged into your router and therefore wait, but yeah, they did. So they they have the but but how far can they go in their router? And that doesn't mean that they're actually like controlling certain things that I'm worried about. Like there are some things I still don't want to talk about, but what I'm saying is if you don't understand super duper computer stuff, you're not ready to be president on day one. And like the fact that Joe Biden's running on being ready to be president, biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Seriously.